The Ender 3 is one of the most popular and affordable 3D printers currently available. Creality now offer the Ender 3 Pro as the improved version, which carries over all the great features of the original Ender 3. Let's see what the differences are and if it's worth the additional cost. The Ender 3 Pro comes as a pre-assembled kit just like the standard version and can be assembled within an hour. Upon assembly, there is a noticeable improvement in the machining and quality control of the metal parts. On the sides are additional bolts that have been added to secure the base and keep it level. The improvements over the standard printer include a wider 40x40 aluminium extrusion for the Y-axis. This is to improve the stability of the print bed, although I've never had any issues with the 20x40 extrusion found on this stock Ender 3. For the electronics, the power supply has been upgraded to a Meanwell power supply. This ensures a stable supply of power and consistent operation. The cooling fan on the new power supply will only turn on when needed, which reduces the overall noise. The SD card location on the original Ender 3 was located towards the bottom of the printer, which made it a bit fiddly to use when adding and removing the card. On the Pro model, the electronics housing is inverted, now positioning the SD card and the USB port in a higher location. The inverted housing now places the fan at the bottom of the printer. This prevents the chance of anything falling into the fan, which was an issue on the stock Ender 3. With the cooling fan at the bottom of the printer, the rubber feet are now thicker to improve the underside airflow and cooling abilities. The Pro model comes with a new CMAG magnetic print bed installed. This is a removable and flexible surface made for easy removal of prints. Some versions of the standard Ender 3 printer also come with a removable and flexible surface, which is not a magnetic surface but held on with binder clips. If you decide to add a magnetic bed to the stock printer, this can be purchased separately and easily installed. Both flexible surfaces on the Ender 3 and on the Pro model are okay, but these surfaces wear quickly and achieving a perfect bed level and first layer can be challenging with these surfaces. For the print surface, I find using a glass bed gives improved and consistent results. Creality now offers a few different types of glass platforms for the Ender 3. One comes with an adhesive backing and one without. I choose to use the non-adhesive back glass as it can be easily removed for cleaning or quickly replaced if needed. To test the print quality, the first print is the Benchy Boat. This is printed with PLA filament on the magnetic surface at a 0.2mm layer height. When complete, the print is easy to remove by lifting the surface off the bed, flexing the sheet and peeling the print. The overall print quality is good with a few lines visible on the surface. The second print is a vase printed with PLA filament at a 0.2mm layer height and with a 0.4mm wall thickness. This is also printed onto the magnetic sheet. Once printed, this also peeled off the surface easily. The print quality is really great and produced to the same quality of the standard Ender 3. To install the non-adhesive glass, we can lift off the magnetic sheet and place the glass onto the bed. The glass can be held on with binder clips, although these are sometimes in the way of the hot end and moving parts. Another option to hold the glass in place is to use four lengths of blue masking tape along the four edges. This way the hot end can easily pass over the edges without any issues. With the glass bed in place, the next step is to reset and move the Z-stop to match the same thickness of the glass. Then re-level all the corners of the bed and check the accuracy of the first layer. The final print is a four-piece rocket. These components are printed with PLA filament at a 0.2mm layer height and onto the glass bed. All the parts printed well, just with a few noticeable lines in the middle of the main body. Once assembled, it turned out to be a great looking overall print. The Ender 3 Pro is a slightly more refined machine and offers the same great print quality of the standard Ender 3. With a few upgrades of the Pro model, it's hard to justify the additional cost especially if you're looking for a budget 3D printer. The best value for money is choosing the standard Ender 3, then making any upgrades or changes as required. Whichever 3D printer you choose, both models are excellent performing machines and capable of producing high quality prints. <laughs>